lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love okay lifestyle lovers so this is the start of a new vlog today is actually easter so i hope you guys had a great easter because you're probably gonna you're definitely gonna be seeing this after easter has passed so i'm getting ready to head to brunch me and babe um we tried to go to brunch last sunday and just to give you guys like a quick story time of what happened i need to get outdoors so i can't make it real long but we were getting ready to walk in the restaurant this is a restaurant that kind of just like relaunched in jacksonville beach that we've been wanting to try and i get a call i didn't recognize the number so i didn't answer because i do not answer numbers that i don't know they will either have they will they will either have to leave me a message or send me a text shortly at, shortly after the number hangs up i get a text your daughter has been in a car accident so i pretty much buckled at the knees and i told babe i say wait wait hold up wait 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 i call the number back she tells me your daughter has been in a car accident she's going to need medical attention she's okay but i have is she she asked me she says is this your son here i say no that's my grandson because i know she had messiah with her you know my oldest grandson and she was like somebody needs to come get him so i said can i speak to her so she you know puts her on the phone she's crying and hysterical and i'm like oh my god what happened what happened um but she was crying and hysterical i could not really understand we raced to where she was remind you we was on jacksonville beach so we were probably about 45 minutes away from where the accident was i pull up i see a car the airbags are deflated in the car but it wasn't my daughter's car so i called this number that the lady called me called me from and i was like i'm here um you know where are you and she was like i'm standing right here on the corner i walk up to the lady i was like that's not my grandson <laughs> It was like a case of mistaken identity. It was so crazy. And my nerves was like so heightened. So we didn't even make it to brunch. The only thing that I could do that Sunday was pretty much just lay down. I picked Mookie up from practice and I was just chilling the rest of the day. So that's like a brief story time of what happened last Sunday. So we're going to try it again this Sunday. I told babe I might need to turn my phone off. <laughs> But um, I'm going to show you guys quickly what I'm wearing. Today is Easter. Mookie is with his dad. We don't do the typical, you know, dress up, go to church for Easter. I used to when my kids were, were really, really young. Do the whole Easter baskets. I would, you know, have them in their Sunday's best. But we have not done that in quite a few years. So I just kind of got up. I do belong to a church here in Jacksonville. I just kind of got up and he has his sermon on YouTube every Sunday. Got up, watched my pastor, and um, me and babe are going to be headed to brunch. So I don't know what else we're going to do. It's a very cold and rainy Easter, which is why I have on a sweatshirt. And I was really excited because I wanted to wear this sweatshirt again before uh, spring was over with. And I this is the perfect time. So this is my Fendi sweatshirt. If you are not, you probably seen, if you are not new here, then you seen me wear this when I went to Vegas. But I wore, I'm wearing it a little different this time. I'm pairing it with some um, faux leather leggings. These are from Express Fendi sweatshirt from the kids section. And then I have on my Fendi high tops. So I just kind of rock them like that. This is how my son say I'm supposed to wear my shoes. He said, I disrespect tennis shoes because I tie them all the way up. So I'm wearing them like the young folks say I'm supposed to wear them. <laughs> they try to keep their mama young. So, um, and then I have like on my Fendi earrings and then just a micro chorus watch, keeping it simple. Um, look, y'all. So once it dried up, it looks really, really good. Uh, if you've seen the last vlog, I painted my chair wheel molding, as you can see behind me. But it wasn't looking right. But once it dried up, it looks right. So I'm, I am going to have to finish this project at some point. Because as you go up the stairs, it's not painted. But I'll get to it, just not today. I'm going to enjoy my Sunday and enjoy my Easter. I'll check back in with you guys once me and babe get to the uh, restaurant. Down, 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 down
inside all this tension A feeling I never was expecting I don't see the pros, don't know the cons, forget the whys Do you know why? Okay, lifestyle lovers, so we just left um, Crab Cake Factory for brunch. So what I what what would you give it a 10 out of 10? I want to get your opinion before you get out of the car. Probably an 8. You give it an 8 out of 10? Why would you give it an 8 out of 10? It's an 8. It's an 8? <laughs> Babe say he'll give it an 8 out of 10, but I would give it like a 6 out of 10. It's a buffet style, as you guys can see. I got like a little bit of a footage. Um, they don't have any vegan options. I'm not a vegan, but you know, you kind of this day and time, you kind of have to have some vegan vegetable options. So they did have salad. They had fruit, and I think I seen one pan of veggies, and that was it. Let me turn this down. I don't know. Goodbye. Okay. Um. So yeah. So. But they had like a lot of seafood, so that's mostly what I ate. The fried fish was good. I believe it was a cod. Um, they had the uh, shrimp cocktail, like cold shrimp. Um, so yeah, so we're we're headed. I'm gonna take this jacket back to Express. If you guys seen the last few vlogs, I purchased the orange boyfriend cut jacket from express and i don't like it it's too big maybe it will work in an extra small i may order it in an extra small because i really love the color i have it here so this is the color but you know the boyfriend fit is supposed to be like a big like a uh, uh, oversized fit anyway but it, it's just too too oversized so we're gonna stop by express it's a really ugly rainy day outside so probably spend the rest of the day, of course, in the house. I'm getting into bed. I'm tired. I'm full and I'm ready to lay down. So once we stop by Express, we'll probably just head home and just prepare for, um, for tomorrow because there's nothing else that we can do. Which is kind of unfortunate for the kids because they can't do Easter egg hunts today. They have to kind of, I guess if you're going to do an Easter egg hunt, they're going to have to do it inside the house. So, um, just a real rainy, ugly <laughs> Easter Sunday. So, I'll check back in with you guys. I'll probably get a little bit of footage in Express because I may, I do have a gift card that I got for my birthday. So, I may do a little bit of shopping if I see anything. Um, if they have this in an extra small, I will repurchase it. But this small is going back. So I'll check back in with you guys once we get to Express. Good morning, lifestyle lovers. So um, it's been a few days since I vlog. I have not been vlogging. Um, just simply because I just been busy. Busy with work. Um, my grandson, King, he's been over here quite a bit. I've been picking him up. So I just, there's nothing that's been vlog worthy for me to share with you guys. So I kind of haven't been vlogging. Um, and work is not vlog, vlog worthy. Um, but I am at some point, I'm going to do like a, uh, maybe like, a, I can't take you guys to work, to work with me. But I can kind of tell you a little bit about what I do. Um, I just have to figure out like the format. Uh, most of you know that I work in HR. So a lot of the things that I deal with are kind of confidential, you know, so I would never like take a camera into my job <laughs> for purposes of YouTube content, but I can do like a little work from home because, um, 
I actually do social media investigations for some of the employees and that just just simply means just making sure that people who uh, represent the corporation um, are representing them in a good light. For instance, um, if you, I'm going to just like give you an example. If you display on your social media platform like Facebook, let's just say Facebook for example, where you work at, you know how they have in the bio, I work for this company or whatever the case may be. You want to be very careful with that because once you display who you work for, the corporation that you work for, you are now a representation of that company. So if you decide to put something that may be deemed as inappropriate, if you decide to put something that may be deemed as uh like uh racial you know something like racial i'm not gonna say the word but you guys know what i'm talking about that will be you are now representing that company so there are times when i have to do social media investigations because employees are not representing the corporation in a good light so you know just as a tip you want to be careful on your social media platforms when you indicate who you work for in your bio because now you are a representation for that company so when you start to talk about political issues race racial issues offensive comments that may be offensive to a particular group of people it could be you know you could be jeopardizing your job so I will kind of do like a day in the life working from home, but I just have to figure out the format that the format that I'm going to do it in. And then I kind of have to be careful about what I share because I work in HR. So I know all the rules. <laughs> I know all the rules. So I know the do's and the don'ts. Um, but just nothing is vlog worthy. Just working. I am working on quite a few home projects that I want to share with you guys. Just to let you guys know, Brian has not came back to fix this, um, to finish that. He has supposed to come back like quite a few times and, um, I may have to get somebody else to do it. I know he said that he's going to come back, but the thing is, if I have paid you, I should not have to continue to call you and ask you to come back. I know Babe has said that I need to keep calling him, but that's not what I do. I'm not going to keep calling him. I'm not going to keep calling him. You was paid for a job and it needs to be finished. And I'm not going to be calling you, reminding you, texting you. That's just not what I do. So, I may have to get another contractor to come in and finish that. It's, 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 it may be small to him, but my kitchen is unfinished. I don't want to get on my soapbox because if I start to do it, I'm going to get, if I start to keep talking about it, I'm going to get pissed because I'm feeling some type of way. So I don't know if I'm going to get Brian to do the floors. Um, I'll just have to see. Hopefully by the time you guys see this video, that'll be done. But just kind of to let you know what I'm working on. I am going to be doing some cleaning in this video. So I wanted to kind of do an intro for that because I have like a new cleaning product that I want to share with you guys. Let me see what I'm doing, girl. Turn some light on in here. So on the last video, let me see. On the last video, I shared with you where I had started painting my chair rail molding and I wasn't too sure about how it was going to turn out but I will tell you as it started to dry it looks good it looks really good so it's going to take me a while to finish it it's not done so what I've been doing is just kind of working on it a little bit at a time it's actually let me see I'm trying to get it in the view of me talking it's actually it's gonna take me a while to finish it because i'm not a painter you know i'm just trying to save myself a couple of hundred dollars so what i've been doing when the time permits i'll go in paint a little bit but i have to kind of wait on it to dry because it it is going to take a couple of coats because the my my drywall is actually a textured drywall it's called orange peel um so it has like a little texture to it you could you could you can't see it just looking at it but if you were in my house and you got up close you could see it so it's taking me a little bit longer but i'm just gonna 
you know, take some time out and do a little bit as time permits. I'm not turning on the camera because there's really no sense in me showing you guys 30 seconds to a minute of that when it's gonna take me some time to do it. So, um, also, I'm working on another project. I'm not gonna tell you guys about it, but I'll show you a little bit of what I've been doing. So I'm spray painting, I spray painted this, but it looks like I'm gonna have to go over on some spots, but this is gonna be a project for the window. As you see, this is currently electrical tape, so I'm gonna replace it with these. So that project will actually be coming soon, but in this video, I'm probably just gonna be doing some cleaning. I just wanna kinda get cleaned up. I actually want to pull out my floor samples because May is getting close. So I want to pull out my floor samples and kind of see if I'm still liking them and do, you know, like some price comparisons as well. And um, also, I don't have to pick King up today, my grandson. Most of you have met King. He about this big with a bad attitude. So... I don't have to be bothered with him today. So me and babe may do some exercise and I think we're either gonna walk the track or we're gonna go to the gym because we've been talking about, you know, kind of getting in shape and just doing better. Um, so I may take you guys like a, along, you know, just, just a little snippet of us, you know, kind of going to the gym, getting in shape. I'm on a buddy pass with his gym, but I think we may walk the track. Mookie does have practice, but we do have some time where we can walk the track. But I've just kind of let you guys know what else I'm going to be doing in this vlog. Just doing some cleaning. And then I'll check back in with you guys probably a little later on when we start to exercise. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So moving on to the cleaning portion of this video. I am going to unbox my new cordless stick vac vacuum. It was sent to me by a company called Ultanic. They are a Amazon based company. Most of you know that I have an iRobot, but it's pretty hard for the iRobot to get into crevices and things like that. So when they reached out to me, I was like, I could absolutely use a new cordless stick vacuum. I have had quite a few vacuums, stick vacuums, um, some very expensive one to be quite honestly, but I am noticing that expensive does not always mean better because I've had to have some of these stick vacuums um, stop working or have to get a uh, repair. So I wanted to uh, try out their new cordless stick vacuum. This is actually the UTM Pro that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing and using for the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, y'all gas, no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get low. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I have my new stick vacuum from Ultanic all assembled. It took me less than five minutes to put this vacuum together. It was really simple. I just followed the instructions that were included in the user's manual. It also comes with a crevice tool. This will be for um, corners and crevices, or you can also use it for your car. It has a dusting brush, a wall storage bracket if you want it to mount it to the wall, as well as the adapter. So I'm just gonna start in my entryway area. We tracked a lot of dirt and dust coming into the door. So I'm just gonna start in this particular area using my new cordless vac. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good, keep the vibes. 
There actually was not a lot of dirt in this area, but this is what it picked up. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so it's actually a little later on in the evening, so I'm going to go ahead and get dinner started. I am making a recipe that I found on Pinterest. It's actually spaghetti and meatballs, but instead of beef, I'm using turkey, so it'll be spaghetti and turkey meatballs. So I'm going to go ahead and get dinner started. This is one of the things that I absolutely love to do in the evening time. Pour me a glass of wine. I'll play a little bit of Anita Baker and listen to some music while I cook in my kitchen. lifestyle lovers happy thursday so today is thursday i'm just oh my battery about to go dead let me change the battery right quick be right back okay lifestyle lovers so i'm back 
So I'm just kind of getting in from work. There's a glare from the mirror. I'm just kind of getting in. Let me see. Okay, there we go. I'm just kind of getting in from work. I know I typically, excuse me, I typically check in with you guys in the morning, but I had a very, very busy day today, a very busy week. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of end the vlog, but I have a little piece from Express that I have to share with you guys before I end the vlog. But I wanted to tell you kind of how my day went today. So I was invited to a, let me get it right. I was invited to a 34th annual Northeast Florida Women of Distinction. And I was invited by one of the attorney, uh, by one of the attorneys that works in our legal department for the corporation that I work for. She is a African American attorney, Black Girl Magic. But she invited a few people from our de our department. So me and my director, we went. But there was a lot of influential women in the room. Um, most of these are like local, local. Uh, community leaders in the community. Donna Deegan was there. Most Jacksonville people know who this is because she's a news anchor for um, one of our local news channels as well as she is a, I think she's a, a count, council, council lady. She's running for something, I don't know. But Lakeisha Burton was there. She actually ran for Jacksonville Sheriff. I voted for Lakeisha, but she did not win. Um, a man actually won, but she was there. Um, just like a lot of influential women and I am so glad I went because I did not want to go to be honest I had so much work to do but um, I decided to go but this is one of the things that I was telling you about if you guys ever seen my video I can't remember what it was titled but it was something about you know how to land a six-figure job or how to grow in your career it was something I can't remember what the title was but one of the things I included in that video was networking. So this was the opportunity for me to network and, you know, just meet some people that I typically don't meet. There were educators there. Um, one of Mookie's uh, friends, well, our, our kids kind of grew up together in the same school, but she was there. She's a local principal. So I'm so glad I went and I actually, <laughs> won a coach purse I, I got to go get it out the trunk but coach donated um this is i'm kind of looking at the uh i'm kind of looking at the it was kind of like an award ceremony just basically recognizing um women of distinction that have made a difference in the community community of jacksonville but coach donated like eight to ten purses so they had a raffle for and it was probably about 200 people, maybe 200 to 300 people there, not just women, women and men, because my director, he's a man. They had a raffle of probably about eight to 10 purses, and I won one. I won a coach purse. It's like, it's, it's kind of like a tote. So I'm gonna go get it out the car because I want to share that with you guys as well before I close out the vlog. Huh, um, an event for my job. I'm talking to Mooka, y'all. But this is the coach bag that I won at the event. They just kind of like had a raffle. It still has the tag on it. But this bag I know has to be worth at least two, two to three hundred dollars. Okay. What you say? What's wrong with it? You have to he don't have on no shirt. Oh, come on here with no shirt. Tell the lifestyle lovers, hey. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, What's wrong with the bag? You you not in the you not in the thing. You not in the. Um, I was telling Mooka that I seen his friend, Joy and Mama. She said, Joy ain't going to rain. For real? Uh-huh. Finally. Y'all going to be back together again. Mookie going to Reigns, which they call, they call Reigns the, the black Harvard of Jacksonville. It's a high school, but I graduated from Reigns. I'm a Viking, and hopefully we'll have a Viking over here. He'll make Mama proud in high school next, this year. Right? You going to go do right? Okay, but this 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 is my coach bag. So I think it's big enough for um my laptop. I haven't checked, but just imagine that. Go to an event that I really didn't want to go to because I have so much work. Because it's like five o'clock, and I have to kind of log on and kind of at least touch some of my cases because I had some meetings after the event. So it was a real busy day. And also, I took the orange blazer back to Express Lifestyle Lovers. 
so uh but i went i tried a few things on i only came out with one thing that i think i'm gonna wear this weekend so this weekend is gonna be pretty much pretty much a busy weekend tomorrow um me babe my sister and her boyfriend we're going to see chris tucker he's coming to a comedy uh comedy place here in jacksonville saturday night i'm hanging out with my girls we bought a table to some concert and comedy show um and sunday i did make reservations for brunch but it's that's not set in stone so we'll just see um but i'm gonna try this on honey and i'm just letting you know don't be judging and if you want to judge somebody judge your mammy because i am gonna wear this exactly how y'all see it on camera so give me a moment this is what i wore to work today you guys have seen this before but just like a black oh child i got clothes in the background but just like a black skirt black top and then this jacket is from zara and i don't know where my heels at but i just did like a um a snake skin pump they may still be in the car but i'm gonna go ahead and try this jacket on right quick so you guys can see it i'm, I'm gonna kind of like play around with some outfits because i'm gonna wear it um this weekend i think i'm gonna wear it to see chris tucker tomorrow i think i don't think i, I don't know i haven't decided yet but i'm gonna just try it on and kind of give you an idea of how it's gonna be worn honey okay lifestyle lovers so this is the jacket i just kind of had to pull my skirt down a little bit but it has like cutouts a whole the whole back is cut out so i'm gonna wear it kind of like you see it like this of course i'm gonna change my bra i haven't decided what bottoms that i'm gonna wear with it i've been playing around with a few different options but um yeah we're gonna we're gonna rock it just like this i kind of have an idea of what bottoms that i'm gonna wear but i'm gonna have to try it on to kind of see but um yeah this is the jackets need to work on my love handles but that's okay i'ma still rock it and i'ma just rock it like i don't have any love handles but um that's pretty much it for this vlog lifestyle lovers i will link this jacket express just had a sale 40 percent off jackets uh pants and skirts i think um so they did not have that sale in the store but when you go in there you be real real nice and real real sweet <laughs> they may honor the sale because i was talking to the young lady and i'm like baby i need to walk out with this jacket today and she was nice enough to honor the 40 percent off sale that they had going on online plus i had a gift card for my girlfriend sheila thank you boo. if you're watching you bought this jacket um, so I used my gift card, so I end up just paying $6. Once I use my rewards, my gift card, with the 40% off, this is a $200 jacket that I paid $6 for. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's it for this video, Lifestyle Lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you are interested in the cordless vac that I share in this video when I was doing like a little cleaning, I will link it in the description box. And I do think that they offer a coupon code as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. Of course, I'm going to vlog this weekend because I have so much going on. I may even start a new vlog today because me and babe might do seafood Fridays on Thursday. Just depending on how much work I can get done um, and what I can get done around the house. But if we do, I'll pick the camera back up and just start, the, start a new vlog. So have a great weekend, lifestyle lovers, whenever you're watching this and... I'll see you on the next video. Bye, y'all.